So welcome and good afternoon, everybody, uh, to this webinar that will uh, be give some information regarding the spring calls from Cancer Fonden, the Swedish Cancer Society. Uh, my name is Anna Karlsson. I'm, an, I'm working with the scientific process here at Cancer Fonden, and I will start the presentation. Uh, after me, Janne Sidenius will give information regarding a special call that runs parallel with the project uh, application call uh, this spring. And in the room, we also have Anina and Adam to answer questions that you should put and write in Q's and A's. So welcome everyone. The vision of Cancer Fund and the Swedish Cancer Society is to beat cancer. And the mission is to reduce cancer incidence, to improve treatment and cure rates, as well as survival time and quality of life of those who cannot be cured. Cancer Fonden is a fairly large organization with almost 100 employees working with all kinds of things, fundraising, research information, cancer information, economy, and, and different things. And it is led by a board. The chair is the former politician, Jöran Heglund. And the office management is in charge of Ulrika Årehed Kåkström, who is the secretary general. There's also a scientific council uh, with the chair, Klaas Kjärre, for another couple of months. The uh, Valberedningen has suggested uh, a new chair after Klaas Kjärre to be Professor Malin Sund from Umeå University. Uh, the Swedish Cancer Society finances research that can lead to improved understanding of cancer disease, prevention, earlier diagnosis, and effective treatment, palliative care, and rehabilitation. The perspective is broad, and I will underline it many times probably that applications are welcome from researchers in different fields, from all kinds of questions that has a link to cancer are welcome. Uh, the main strategy of the Swedish Cancer Society is to support high quality research projects initiated by individual researchers. So it's you that should write down your ideas and what you want to do and send in your application to Cancer Fund them for evaluation. The Cancer Society welcomes all applications, regardless of the type of cancer to be evaluated in national competition. The criteria are scientific quality, the merits of the researcher and cancer relevance. And again, I will stress that cancer research is by its nature broad and spans several scientific fields. It is in the interest of the Cancer Society to promote good research in all these fields. Uh, normally, when if a project is granted, it's a three year grant period. A starting grant is normally 800,000 crowns per year. This is the normal level to, to start a project on. And the maximum grant level is 2.5 million Swedish crowns per year. And remember that you can never be funded more than you apply for. So think of that when you make your application and when you make your budget. And uh, uh, your application will be evaluated in a priority committee. Cancer Fonden has nine priority committees. We call them PKs, each with approximately eight members. And these are uh, experienced researchers, mainly professors from uh, different parts of Sweden. Uh, and the priority committees have different expertise profiles, but with significant overlap. I will return to that to ensure that applications are allocated fairly evenly and also to avoid conflicts of interest. You can choose which priority committee your application will be evaluated in. You have the option of selecting a first and a second choice. However, there is no guarantee that your application will be evaluated in the desired priority committee, depending on other things. These are the nine different priority committees that presently are running. Uh, P, we call them PKA1, A2, B1, B2, C, D, E, F, and G. I will come back to uh, their uh, profiles. 
So which PK should you choose? Applicant can propose a priority committee for their application. It, however, it is important to remember that it is not uncommon for an application to fit in two to four different priority committees. The distribution of applications is prepared by the scientific secretariat, among other things, considering what the applicants have wished to be placed in and ultimately decided in a consultation between the chairperson of the various priority committees. So again, the priority committees are overlapping. Clinical projects are usually handled in PICO D, E, F, or G, but can also be handled in PK A1, A2, or C. Basic research projects are often handled in PK B1 or B2, but can also be handled in PKA1, A2, or C. Epidemiological projects are mainly handled, handled by PKF, healthcare science in PKG, and prevention in PKF or PKG. So remember, there is, uh, there, the priority committees are overlapping. Something that is, of course, obviously important for the Swedish Cancer Society is the criteria for cancer relevance. And the results from the studies can lead to deeper understanding of cancer, better prevention, earlier diagnosis, more efficient treatment, or higher quality of life, for example. And this can be manifested uh, or reinforced by conducting the studies on study material from cancer patients, animal cancer models, or uh, models of cancer development. However, this is not the entire truth. Uh, a proposal may have cancer relevance, even if point two is not fulfilled. For example, studies based on normal cells or healthy individuals, individuals provided that point one is explicitly motivated in the research program, including a description of how the generated results can lead to studies on or measures against cancer in the future. If the project is funded and later submitted for renewal of support, the research program must present a progression towards fulfilling point two. So if your project is not obviously cancer relevant, put some extra effort in explaining this to the committee. The Swedish Cancer Society will have increased dialogue with patients regarding the overall process for our research funding. This is fairly new in our process. And this includes planning of research and applications, principles for assessment and evaluation. And there is a special part of, of the application called patient's perspective. And we recommend that you put some effort in uh, trying to fill in this uh, special part with care and uh, put it, give it some effort because it, it, it will be more and more important to take this perspective uh, into the evaluation process. So what can you apply for? The grant is intended to provide funds for project related operational costs, such as the purchase of materials and equipment and also for staff like a postdoc or a doctoral students. These are the most common costs in a project. However, remember that the research project grant can not be used for the applicant's own salary. So remember, do not apply for your own salary. This is not allowed. Uh, there are special calls uh, after the summer, late August and September, that where you can apply for for uh, positions uh, at the senior level and at the junior level and also for research um, months if you are a clinician. So that is important to remember. Uh, do you need to be employed? Yes. In order to apply for and receive funding for a research project, employment at the Swedish educational or healthcare institution with a, with a salary equivalent to at least 20% of full employment is required. And the employment must already have started at the time of the application. And this is not applicable if you have retired, if you 
still uh, do science, but have retired from your position. But you always need the um, uh, your, your um, uh, department head signature. So, so the, the department head must always sign your application and approve that you perform your, your research at his department. Other rules uh, are that there is one principal investigator for one research project grant. That this means that you cannot submit two different research grants. And if you have a, an ongoing grant, you cannot uh, submit another one. It is not allowed. And if you have two good ideas or three good ideas, you, you have to include them in the same project proposal, uh, which, is, which can be done. The research program may be a maximum of 10 pages, including references. And if more than 10 pages, these will not be included in the assessment. A little bit about the evaluation process. Every application is evaluated. And if consent for rejection by the whole committee, we uh, employ something called triage. Um, and this means that certain application will applications will not be further discussed. And this is to, to leave time and efforts for the applications that are uh, that should be discussed for, uh, for funding. And there are three to four evaluation levels, as I already mentioned. Number one is the scientific quality. Uh, number two, the merits of the researcher, where independence is an important part. If you are at the border of becoming independent, you please explain this in your application. Uh, you may be, uh, have had a supervisor, but you now have your own project and your own idea to develop and you're at, at the late postdoc stage and on your way to become independent. Give some effort in explaining this to the committee. Cancer relevance is of course important as I already mentioned, and this is evaluated as a yes or no. And if you have been previously granted, you should give a scientific report to, to explain what you have done with the money that you have already received. Uh, the competition is high and all projects cannot be funded. The, and then the question raises uh, why? Uh, there, there are excellent projects that still cannot be funded because there are some projects that are even more excellent. That's life. Uh, but there are some things that come uh, quite often as criticism, and it could be a lack of clarity. Is the application an independent PI, as I already discussed? Is the research field properly described? Novelty is, of course, important. Do the group members, collaborators, cover the competences that are required? Lack of focus or methodological questions. Too many lines of research, lack of focus, difficult to understand, could be one criticism. A fishing expedition without a clear hypothesis is another criticism that can occur. A relevant question, but questionable methods. The study population is too small and or power analysis is missing. This is a quite common mistake in, in many applications that the power analysis is not complete. So to summarize questions to be answered in your application, uh, what do you want to do? Why is it important? What is already known? How will you do it? Previous experience? What material will you use? What statistical power is necessary? Why will you apply from the Cancer Fund and the Swedish Cancer Society? Uh, who else will be involved in the project? How much does it cost? What other sources do you have? And where does it lead? And uh, we usually say that most importantly, you, uh, there are very good instructions on the website, so read them and try to follow them. Uh, a brief summary of, of what is hap will happen with your application once uh, um, uh, submitted. May 2nd is the application deadline, and then the applications will be divided into these nine pro uh, 
priority committees uh, and they will have the summer to read all the application and in September they will have a full day meeting to discuss their applications. And then um, the budget will be worked on and so forth. And in November, the research committee will decide uh, on approved uh, applications. So um, this, were, this was my presentation and I now welcome Janus Dienius to continue with a special call. Thank you so much, Anna, for this presentation. We will take your questions uh, in due time after my presentation. So don't worry, you will get your answers by the end of this webinar. So we do have uh, what we call a special call, uh, which is um, uh, a clinical th uh, about th clinical therapy studies in cancer, or if you wish, clinical trials in cancer. Um, in contrast to the project applications, which uh, has a deadline uh, 2nd of May, uh, this time you can spend uh, your entire summer vacation on working on this application instead, which uh, has its deadline the 25th of August, 3 p.m. And no later, we will not accept anything later than this, uh, than this time limit. This research area includes studies that aim to prospectively recruit patients for cancer treatment. I stressed prospectively, including various therapy modalities and combinations thereof, as well as treatment studies in nursing science, palliative care and rehabilitation. So uh, the area is still quite broad. The call includes, for example, academically initiated phase one and two studies, implementation studies, and randomized intervention studies or phase three studies. It does not cover studies that have been uh, initiated and financed by uh, companies or industries. So uh, we talk about academic studies in this field. It also does not cover projects that mainly concern primary prevention or diagnostics. So it's uh, therapy uh, research we're aiming for. Thanks to the uh, very uh, good collection, uh, the economical situation at the Swedish Cancer Society, we can provide quite a juicy sum of money. Uh, we are talking about three to 10 million per year, uh, uh, lasting three to five years. That means you can uh, maximum get 6 million crowns a year during five years or 10 million crowns during three years. The exact number of applications that will be granted, uh, we don't know today. That depends a lot on how many high quality applications we will receive. The, also, these project grants are awarded as framework grants for personal and operating costs, as Anna Carlson described previously. Uh, you can use it for scholarships, doctoral positions, etc., uh, according to the local regulations at each department or institution. Please note that the grant may not be used for the applicant's own salary, which is exactly parallel to other project grants. Uh, also, uh, the salary for permanently employed senior lecturers or professor are not allowed in this call. The application must be made by an individual researcher, a, a PI, a principal investigator. Uh, and uh, he or she should be an experienced research leader, have been awarded their doctorate no later than 31st December 2017. And there is no um, uh, other later dates that will be allowed. Be able, uh, the applicant must be able to demonstrate documented independence, of course, and competence in leading scientific projects. The application may involve one or more individual, individual research groups. Uh, there is no uh, obligatorium that uh, you have to include several groups, 
but uh, in the judgment from the priority committee, this might be given a special weight if you have involved several different groups, institutions, even regions uh, throughout Sweden, or various disciplines uh, um, in healthcare, for instance. This call is open both to researchers who have not previously been supported by the Swedish Cancer Society, and also to those that do hold a regular Swedish Cancer Society project already and plan to submit an application for continuation grant during the period, uh, the coming years. Uh, so yes, um, this is extra, so to speak. This time we will uh, stress more about the ethical approvals, ethical considerations, biobank approvals, etc. Um, you must not have uh, already ethical approval, but if you don't have that, you must uh, uh, describe it uh, and you must uh, describe why the application has not yet been submitted, etc. So you need to describe a plan for applying for ethical approval uh, in your application uh, if you don't already have this settled. And where applicable, applicable uh, the same information must be stated for biobanks uh, authorization from the Swedish uh, Medical Products Agency, that is Läkemedelsverket, and similar institutions. A few advices uh, when you write your applications. There are guidelines both in Swedish and English, uh, so you will find them at our website. website. Read these guidelines thoroughly, and even more important, follow the guidelines, please. Usually, you will find the answer to your questions. If you don't, you can always contact us, and we will respond uh, quite swiftly. But please, do start to write application in time. All, although you have the entire summer, uh, time flies, and as I stressed uh, in the beginning, we will not accept any applications after August 25, 3 o'clock sharp. The deadline is the deadline. With this, we wish to thank you and uh, wish you good luck uh, with your application, and uh, I will be happy to take any questions uh, which you write in Q&A in this webinar site. I think we have a few questions already. So we will turn now to Anina and Adam. Two questions. Uh, and the first is, is it possible to apply for one project in the regular project call and for a separate project in the upcoming special call? It is possible. Remember that if you apply for the first time, if you get a grant, the maximum is usually 800,000 crowns for three years uh, in the regular project uh, call. Um, the, uh, the extra, sorry, the special call is uh, has a higher limit, but you should be very careful to describe the overlap and why you would apply for this extra uh, project, uh, the, the therapy project. If it's uh, identical, you need to explain this. Uh, if it's an extension of another project, you need to be very precise in how this is extension is thought to function and what you will use the money for. Thank you. We have another question. Why is there a restriction of dissertation date on the clinical trials? Well, we wish that an applicant for uh, for research projects should be independent and uh, by definition, if you're in the postdoc, um, if you're a postdoc, you are not independent by definition, so to speak. And it takes time to become independent, and we want to secure that the applicants uh, have been able to prove that they are independent researchers before we take them on board in the Swedish Cancer Society. I hope this was uh, answering your question. Mm -hmm. We don't have any open questions now, but no. I, I would like to just say that we will put this uh, presentation at our website uh, after, uh, after this. 
If you have further questions but haven't been able to uh, to write them down, you can always put them uh, uh, and send them uh, to us later, of course, and we'll try to respond as quick as possible. Okay, if there are no further questions, we from the Swedish Cancer Society wish you good luck once again, and thank you for attending this webinar, which we do hope was helpful. Bye. Bye. Bye.